Hello to every Nigeria. My name is Prophet David Yahweh. I visit to Kabi. I am a full citizen of Nigeria and this is democracy. I have freedom to to say my view and to say for me, my own pair. I'm not speaking for anybody, but I'm speaking as a youth of this country. I have been in different countries, both in UK, both in different countries around the world, both in Dubai. But right now, what is happening in my in my state, Anambra State, in Biafra land, is not called for enough, is enough. And Mr. President, you're not doing anything about it. Right? Nobody is doing anything about it, and you cannot keep quiet till we all die finish. We cannot keep quiet till we all die finish. This is our for us to stand up and as a youth of this country and stand for our life and speak. If the country is no longer working, they should divide the country or to go for, everyone should go their separate way. Why am I mentioning Biafra? Because if you go to my town, there is a museum. When I went to the museum, I saw Biafra colors. So Biafra have been into existence before now. Now, my brother, Nandi Karo, have spoken about the evil happening in the Biafra land, Nibo land, the killings and everything, Flame killing our, our people, slaughtering our, our mothers, taking what belongs to us, chasing us away from our own land. And nobody's doing anything about it. Yesterday, being Sunday, September, my brother, Ifan Oba, was almost assassinated by Frani, and they killed almost seven police people. Those policemen, they have their own family. They have their own children. Now, they make that their, their wife now a widow. And nobody is doing anything about it. It's hard time we in Nigeria youth, we take the bull by the horse. We cannot allow, no longer take this, enough is enough. We cannot allow the colonel is here. Thank God Queen Elizabeth have already died. I remember last time I was in 2005, I was in the in UK to study international relationship in politics. Because I'm a foreigner, the cost then was about London University was about 22 million naira. Go and check. This is of 2005. But if I was a London citizen, it was just about 4 million. So what benefit are we getting from the Queen of uh, uh, Queen of England? What benefit have, have, have we benefited from Queen Elizabeth? Last time I checked, I realized that when he visited Nigeria, that is one of my father, Ojuku, that fought for Biafra. He was one that sponsored uh, and that used his own father this day. Father arranged us to carry him around and they spent a lot of money taking care of her. But since then, my brother and my sisters are dying. People are dying here and here in Nimo State, Enugu State, Water Corps. Nobody said anything about it. What I'm saying is now, this is our for Trump to resign. This is not about a legal election. Trump is a hard time he will resign from this election. Let us fix this country if we have Nigeria again. God has given us P2B. P2B is God sent. And it's young. You know you're know you old. I have benefited a lot of things from this country. Allow other people to do. Also, also participate. Let us know if we we'll have a, a greater future. For Atiko, he has contested many times. And the grace is not on you. It's hard time you should, you should give up. You should step aside for P2B. So we can have a better Nigeria. Last time I checked, I realized that I have a problem with your father and backer because when he said cost P2B, because p 2 ob was divine, said by God Almighty to bless Nigeria and Ibo Rand. I'm not talking about uh, my brother, Mazin and the a friend, freedom fighter. I have like to say, I don't want to be Nigeria, I want to be Biafra. Because Biafra has been into existence. 
before now. He's in prison without any cause. And nobody's doing anything about it. This is time. Our hands and people, everybody should wake up and I ask her. The same freedom fighter that uh, now the color was fighting, the same thing that some people who fight. But when some people have, have problem, all the Yoruba race, both the traditional, both the pastor, both the, all the sons, those the lawyers, they fight to make sure they lose their own brother. But we are able to keep on sabotaging ourselves. This one, they say if you say the truth, they, they will carry him, this will carry him, but it doesn't matter. We are living where we are suffering and smiling. And we cannot keep quiet anymore. It's when people die in my city, my in my state every day. Friday's kidnapping people every day. They want to make Anambara state, Imo state, Enugu state a war zone. I remember last time I was in my state, Anambara state. Most of business have closed down. And nobody said anything about it. Buare, I don't know what else to tell you. Because I know, even if it's a dead man, by now that dead man could have woke up and take. My prayer is for all my evil people, brothers and sisters. Everybody should rise up. We should not allow Friday to take our land, to kill us, finish. This is time we have to also think of what to do to defend our land. Because since government is not doing anything about it, all of us will not die for this. Now I can see. Last time they kidnapped Bishop, they collected 100 million. Now it's Andoba. Thank God, God, God make it escape. God saved his life. If he died with all his words, today, ah yes, they will mourn him for one month. Everybody forget about it. Many people have died. Many have gone. Those policemen they killed, now almost seven people are flaming shoes. I don't know human being. They are human beings because they, they volunteer themselves to serve our country. Police is dying every day. I'm not by screen police. Kidnappers are screen police. Friday is killing police. Everybody is killing police. My brother, police are our friends. Let us also be wise. And police, so everybody should stand up because nobody is happy in this country again. That's why I say everybody is running away from the country. Running to London, running to UK, running to different, running to even the country that is, in the last 10 years, even if they give you free visa, you cannot go. Nigerians are running away because of things have turned upside down. I pray that tomorrow's America will have fair judgment so you'll be free. And I pray that let the will of God do in this 2023 election. Because God told me that Peter will be, will be the next president. But he also told me that they are going to rig the election. So that we need to pray. And let everybody also high neck. Are you not tired? This is the time. All of us have to start as a one Nigeria if Nigeria will be again, to do the right thing or divide the country, let them go peaceful way and God fix their own country.